Hey there, everybody. Don Sarah here. I just wanted to uh, show off something real quick that I've been uh, just spending the last few hours working with, uh, just trying to get it figured out. And once I did get it figured out, I figured I'd do a video to help others out. So I've recently started uh, doing live streams. And one of the things that I've been finding I have a hard time with is keeping up with the chat. And I do have a dual monitor set up, uh, but there's a big difference in size between my two monitors. And my main screen, it, it's a TV screen. It's a big TV screen, so it takes up the the bulk of my vision and the other screen is a really small old Dell flat screen square monitor so it's harder to uh, to see stuff on it in my peripheral vision and yeah you know, I, I just don't like having uh, OBS and a whole bunch of stuff fighting over uh, the screen real estate over there. So what I just set up, and I'm going to switch to uh, my screen one here, is I just set up something from Restream.io that is uh, multi-chat. And let me come over here and open it up. I probably should have had this open. So it's the the restream chat not multi-chat I thought it said multi-chat over here yeah multi-chat app for Windows so I've got that set up and the uh, the main thing that it's meant for is so that if you're streaming on multiple services you can have all of the chat come up in this one box on your screen so that's to help out with that and you know if you are streaming on multiple things this is probably a really good thing to have I would say uh, for me I haven't been able to get twitch to work right for me I'm not sure what exactly the uh, the problem for me is it just doesn't want to work at least not uh, at the quality that I want to stream at. YouTube is letting me do that. So I'm going to be sticking with YouTube unless something, you know, changes that. YouTube is just better quality wise for me. So I've been running into the problem of just keeping up with the chat. Let me go back to that because I think I started going down a rabbit trail there. Uh, so, over here on Restream, you know, normally you would connect with the, the API and everything would be good, you would think. But the way that Restream works is it does... Uh, instead of doing your stream as the uh, stream now, it does it as an event. And the problem with that is for the events, they have unique URLs for each one that you do. And that doesn't work very well with my um, chat that I keep down here, the overlay that I have. So I've got it set up just right. It looks really nice and everything. Very happy with it. But it just doesn't play nice having that different URL each time. Whereas with the stream now, it does the same URL each time. Uh, I can have it go straight to my YouTube gaming if uh, I share it on social media and whatnot. And it's just always the same consistent URL. 
But that made a problem in the uh, multi-chat because it wasn't getting, it wasn't for some reason able to get that consistent URL. It would always throw me this unable to fetch stream info or whatever error. So I spent a, a good long while scratching my head at it. And finally, I figured I'd try and see if maybe there was like uh, an issue or something going on. So I went and checked Restream's Twitter. And about four days ago, somebody else was running into the same problem and actually had the forethought to uh, ask them instead of trying to figure it out themselves. Probably the smarter thing to do. Uh, Restream said to make sure that you're using the right channel URL. So apparently just having uh, slash channel name live wasn't working. They said to try doing user slash channel name slash live. That didn't work for me either. But then they had, they said, or try YouTube channel whole string of mess of uh, letters and numbers slash live. So I figured I'd give that one a try. And it works. It worked out perfectly. So uh, I'm just going to pretend that I'm adding a new one. I went with YouTube Gaming. Oh, but it's going to want to do that. Uh, I went with YouTube Gaming, but it seems like all of the things for YouTube manually does the same thing. Oh, and you're not just going to let me do that. All right, I'm just going to click this instead. Haha. Uh -huh. So you do your key that you get uh, from your live dashboard. Uh, you come into Stream Now Beta, and you just click Reveal, and it'll give you your stream name slash key. You copy that into here and then for the channel URL you just take this right here copy the whole thing over paste it in here uh, I added slash live to the end and it looks like it took out the channel the slash channel that was in the middle there so it'll automatically do that I guess but I put in live just in case and then that was it. I didn't need to do anything more over here. Uh, then what I did was I loaded up the, the app and logged into it with the Restream account. And it automatically pulled up the stream information. So if I had Twitch and a whole bunch of other things in here, it would automatically pull those up too. And whatever I have uh, checkmarked active, it's going to say that that's active. So I just unchecked it and it took it out of the multi-chat. Turn it back on and it'll come back. So got that working. All right, should come back, come back. It's probably got to remember. There it is. So I got that working. And to get to that URL, just went onto YouTube, went to my channel, and just grabbed it from the top here. And that's it. And yeah, now it works. So now, um, oh, I probably didn't want to close all those just yet actually I want this still so let's say somebody says something uh, on my stream and even though my stream is offline right now this chat still functions so perfect for testing so let's say I come over here and I just do testing and what that'll do is it'll bring it up over here. Yeah, you know, there's a slight delay, but it still works pretty good. I am very happy with that. 
Uh, I've got the option. Where are you at? Here. I have click through, so I have to hold control to disable the click through. So hold control, click on it, and then I can say whatever. And it'll send it right into the chat here. And because it's properly using the stream now, stream now uses the same URL each and every single time. So I don't have to worry about updating anything for this for my chat down here, my overlay. I don't have to worry about updating anything for that because I grabbed that from the, uh, the pop out chat. I did that and then added it with, uh, in, you're going to have some, uh, so over here I did an OBS. Where are you at? Right there. So what I did was uh, the URL from the, the pop-out chat right straight from this page. Got my custom width, height, and the, CA, the, the, the CSS I got from... Blucifer from uh, her channel. It was just one that came up when I went into Google looking for something and she shared this CSS and I really liked it. So I haven't changed any of it at all other than uh, changing the width and the height. But I've got that set up. Cancel. I added a browser source. And you just drop in the URL. And you're good to go. So that's what I've got right here. So that uh, right on my wow chat overlay. So that like trade chat and any of that junk doesn't show up in stream. And it just made for the perfect spot to just drop the YouTube chat on. So I put that there. I'll get this out of the way. So, yeah, that's, that's how I got that set up. Uh, under normal streaming conditions, I wouldn't have, because I don't do uh, window capture, or screen capture display, whichever uh, OBS calls it. I think it's display capture. I don't do that. I do game capture. So this is just the background I have for, for game capture. But uh, if I started up like World of Warcraft, the, uh, in fact, I will do that real quick. Just get that started. Da, 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 da. So yeah. Uh, with window capture or display capture, yeah, that comes up there. And if I wanted to, I could keep that up. But I just do game capture. So that's invisible. You can't see it. But I do see it. So I can do whatever I need to do with it. I can I can just play the game, have that up, and then if somebody says anything in the YouTube chat, it comes up right there in my line of vision. Because it's click through, it's not going to interrupt me playing the game at all. I just want to make sure... Good, not being outbid yet. So I want to get that for an alt that's in uh, in Northrend right now. So hoping to get that knocked out. But uh, yeah, now I can 
I can just play the game. Just do everything as normal. Come out here. Fly around and do whatever. And this chat is here. And I can see it. And, you know, it's big enough and there's enough contrast going on there that if somebody types something, I'm going to see it. Hi, Pit Beast. I'm going to see it. I'm not going to miss it. So I can respond better either vocally or typing something if I'm able to. But at the same time, it's not like keeping a whole bunch of uh, browser windows and stuff open. It's not crowding my second screen so I can keep, you know, I can keep just the stuff that I need to make sure that the stream itself is running well. And then chat's just right here. So, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope my rambling helped out. And uh, this is Don out.